I'm Jennifer schomburg Kanki, and this video is part of my series for the Tupelo Press 3030 project. If you're not familiar with the project, you can check out some links down in the description below. There are also a few other videos here on my channel that will help explain my project for writing 30 poems in 30 days, as well as doing fundraising for Tupelo Press in the process. So this video, in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I'm writing about in the upcoming poems. Then I'm going to draw cards for the um, for the ones that I will write after that. I'm going to try to keep it concise. Last week got a little out of control, so keeping it concise. So I will have poems. Um, I've actually, um, the poem about Dixie Lee was up yesterday. Um, Dixie Lee had song was in films such as Manhattan Love Song and Love in Bloom. Um, she was also, there was a movie called Smash Up, the story of a woman was loosely based on her life. It's the story of a nightclub singer who marries another nightclub singer and becomes an alcoholic because she puts her life aside for his career. Um, Dixie Lee was married to Bing Crosby. Uh, that's what I got on Dixie Lee. You'll want to read that poem. It was um, up on Friday. Linda Smith was the um, woman who today's poem was about. And Linda Smith is a comedian. Um, did a lot of British panel shows. So if you like panel shows um, and you realize that there are much, you know, there's there are women on those panel shows now, you have Linda Smith to thank. She was often the only woman on those panel shows in the um, early aughts. So she did a lot of radio. Funny as hell. Oh my God. That was some fun research to listen listen to her shows and to watch like Mock, uh, Mock the Week and um, Room 101 and stuff like that. I love British panel shows anyway. And so this was, it was a joy um, to research her, her work in that respect. Um, not a joy in some other respects as have as it has been with many of the research, um, many uh, many women with ovarian cancer die because a lot of the symptoms of ovarian cancer are the exact same things that are just part of being a woman. There's a lot of um, abdominal pain, um, tiredness, tiredness and fatigue, abdominal pain, acid reflux, um, and um, various other um, menstrual issues. I'm going to do a whole video about um, the symptoms of ovarian cancer and also talking about my own experience with my symptoms. So I will, I will get into that more in another video later. Um, but because of those symptoms being so common for so many things, it's often misdiagnosed or just completely goes undiagnosed until it's too late. Um, and so a lot of the women that I'm writing about um, die from ovarian cancer. And so in that respect, it has not been a joy. Um, I have cried a lot working on these. Um, I've cried a lot working on these. Um, but watching Linda Smith's um, stand up, um, she has a great bit on dyslexia. She was dyslexic. Um, she's got a great bit. You should look it up on YouTube. Um, yeah, she's hilarious. I love her. Um, so to the next. I said I wasn't going to get off track, didn't I? And then when I do, I did it. Um, also, a poem coming up tomorrow about Celeste Jarnall, um, another just absolutely fabulous and amazing woman. Um, she was in movies like Eve and The Velvet Vampire, so kind of some um, campy films. Um, we're going to our plan for tonight is to watch The Velvet Vampire. I've watched some clips on YouTube. I'm very excited to watch um, to watch the actual film. Um, she was also on an episode of Star Trek, one called The Apple. Um, she actually goes down with the landing party um, and starts, um, starts a chain of events when she's making out with Chekhov. Um, at least I think that's it. Yeah, I, I watched it a couple of days ago anyway. So uh, she's, she's pretty fabulous. And um, her, she was also a real, I said I wasn't going to do it. Anyway, so she was a real estate agent in the eighties, was like an amazing real estate agent and then became a nutritionist and got into holistic healing and just an amazing goddess of a woman. Yeah, it was, 
anyway, zip, no more. But anyway, her po the poem about her is going to be up tomorrow. So you should check it out. Um, usually they get up um, around mid-morning. So I'm very excited about, I'm, I love the poem that I wrote about her. And I love the artwork that her husband, um, Nazim, did of her. Um, he used her as a muse and, and model often. And it's just, it's amazing. Um, so she's also, um, there's also um, a poem that will be up about um, Laura Nero. Um, she is a songwriter who wrote um, songs like Stony End, Wedding Bell Blues, and When I Die. A lot of her songs became more popular when other people covered them than when she did her own versions. She also, super amazing. And that's all I'm going to say. I have lots of thoughts and feelings about her. Um, you have to read the poem. You have to read the poem when it's up on Tupelo Press 3030. And also, please remember, these are just drafts. They're so These are all like one day drafts. These are 10 minutes. This is what I can do in 10 minutes. Please do not judge the rest of my work by what I can do in 10 minutes. Also coming up will be Cecilia Hart. She is also known as Cece Jones. And she was in a police drama in the late 70s called Paris, which is where she met her husband, James Earl Jones. So they were in Othello together when she took over the role of Desdemona. And she also did a lot of stage stage acting. Poem coming up about Bess Meyerson. She um, was Miss America in the 40s. She was the first. And I think only, I haven't fully done my research yet. Uh, I'm seeing some sources that will say only and some just say first, but she was the first Jewish American um, Miss America. So she was first Jewish Miss America. And she's also just absolutely amazing, but I'm not gonna, she also became um, a politician. She was a politician. She was a pianist, a politician and Miss America. That's all I'm saying. You'll have to wait for the poems. I'm shutting myself up working hard to shut myself up. And now it becomes really hard because the next person is Dinah Shore, someone who I knew very little about going into this. She is also freaking amazing. Um, she was a singer. Uh, songs like Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, You'd Be So Nice To Come Home To, Baby It's Cold Outside. So she, I'm not gonna share all the facts I know. So a lot of sing. Then she did talk shows. She also was a big golfer. She loved golf, a big supporter of the LPGA. Is that the right? Yeah, that's the right word. Those, those are right, the acronyms. So anyway, Donna Shore, amazing. Her poem's coming up in the week, in, in this upcoming week. Carol Channing, whoa. I, I had only a vague notion of who Carol Channing was. She's hilarious. You should watch on YouTube. Watch on YouTube. There's a clip of her on, I think, match game it no password one of the one of the talk shows or the game shows she's on there with um lucille ball is her partner and then betty white and someone else are the other team and she just goes on this rant of trying to get the judges to accept the word unmonogamous and i cannot do justice to it carol channing hilarious comedy treasure i love her now um I'm also trying to say um less. I'm trying to talk like ramble less and say um less. You can tell how great I'm doing on those goals right now. So Carol Channing, big on Broadway. Uh, she was also in um, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. She was in so movies, um, Hello Dolly, Thoroughly Modern Millie. She just, she was amazing. And Carol Channing, as well as uh, Bess Meyerson, I forgot to mention this when I did Bess Meyerson, did not die from ovarian cancer. She had it in the seventies and she lives, she lives until um, just a few years ago until she was 97 years old. So go Carol Channing. Um, Bess Meyerson also died and I think she was 90 when she passed away. So finally we're getting some people who live. And Carol Channing, one of the things that she mentions would mention whenever she talked about her ovarian cancer was that she got very lucky because they caught it early. Early detection is incredibly important with ovarian cancer. And that's a big part of why, if you just look at the statistics about ovarian cancer, it looks really bleak. So when I was first diagnosed, friends or family would look it up and they say, 
is she gonna die like no it was caught very like um stage one ovarian cancer is very rare to catch it at stage one because all the symptoms um are so common so it's not usually caught at stage one mine was 2a which is sort of the earliest that they typically will catch it um if they catch it at stage one it's because they were they were actually just looking for something else and then they found that and went whoa you have this anyway so carol channing uh liked to spread the word about early prevention of um, early detection of ovarian cancer. So yay, Carol Chandy, I love her. Uh, so those are the ones that I did this week. You'll notice if you watched last week's video, I didn't do all of the ones that I drew last week and let me explain to you why. So, and then I drew a whole bunch of other cards and ended up not doing them either for sort of various reasons. And so Heather Urich, who played Louisa Von Trapp, she actually had brain cancer, not ovarian cancer. Um, so I'm not sure why she was on the list, but every other source I was seeing indicated that she had brain cancer. So did not do her. I didn't do Ann Dunham, who is President Obama's mother. And the reason for that is some sources say she had uterine cancer that spread to her ovaries, but then some sources and some people will say she had uterine cancer and ovarian cancer, and some will just say she had ovarian cancer. So it it was a little uncertain because you can have you can have a type of cancer in a place that isn't the part of the body that the cancer is named for. And instead, like I, I'm not going to go look at her medical records that close. So I'm not sure if she had what kind she had. And so I decided not to do her. Although she was fascinated. I'd already done the research by the time I realized that. Um, but she was an anthropologist and just absolutely fascinating woman. Um, so then I started to draw some other folks and I drew um, Hikaru Utada and she is a J-pop star and she seems really cool. She had a benign ovarian tumor, which lucky for her and wonderful for her. I'm very glad that that was the case for her, um, that it was benign, but she didn't have ovarian cancer. So she doesn't, she's not for the list. Then there are two that I, um, who did have ovarian cancer that I opted to not do for various reasons. One is um, um, an adult film star, Tara Ray. And it wasn't because she was an adult film star. That's not the reason I didn't do her because Candida Royale is in that list. And I can tell you, if I pull her name, I am gonna love doing a poem about her. That wasn't the reason why. The reason why is, um, so Tara Ray's husband, Dies, died of an overdose. And then the year, the next year, she committed suicide. Um, she had had ovarian cancer when she was 17. So she is one of the people who um, lived through it. Um, but I, a lot of these are really hard to do, um, dealing with a lot of deep stuff. I'm doing a lot of crying as I write and as I research. And I just, that felt too heavy for me. So I, I'm not going to do her. Maybe at some point I will, maybe when I'm not doing one every single day and I have a little bit more time, I will return to her, but I'm going to leave her aside for now. Um, Patsy Ramsey, John Bonet Ramsey's mother, also died from ovarian cancer and I chose not to do her. Um, I'm not going to go in, into the reasons why, but I decided this wasn't going to do her. Um, maybe at some point I will return. I, I doubt it. Um, maybe someone else will. Yeah, maybe I will. I don't know. I'm just saying, not doing it for now. All right. The moment you've been waiting for. No, the only person wa is the only person watching is my aunt Janie. Hi, aunt Janie. Glad you're here. Um, oh, and my husband because I make him watch each one so that I get a, at least one playthrough. So. <laughs> so there's two people if you are someone that I don't know who's still watching feel free to put something down in the comments below uh <laughs> yeah this is really just to hold myself accountable so that I am not cherry picking who the people are because otherwise like okay I'm gonna write about Gilda Radner right I, I want to make it because I'm finding out about so many cool people who I had no idea like Celeste Yarnall, I had no idea that she existed before I started working on this. And I'm a fan. I She's amazing. Uh, so 
That's why I'm I'm drawing cards and I'm making you watch. I'm looking away. I'm gonna, I'm drawing seven. I drew, I somehow ended up with eight through all that shuffling that ended up happening last week. Um, so I'm only gonna draw, well, I'll still draw seven. One. Cards are so thick. One. Two. Three. Taking whoever's on the bottom. Four. Five. That's probably how I ended up with eight last time is because they're so thick. I probably didn't separate. Okay, wait, five. Six. <laughs> I'm going to do one more shuffle. Okay. Seven. it. Who we got? Who we got? Do I know who any of these people are? I don't know. Okay. Joanne Hackett. I don't know who she is. Tomoko Kawakami. Mary Tudor. Mm, am I going to count Mary Tudor? She's on the list, but they don't actually know if it was uterine cancer or not. I even have that on the thing. Like, yeah, I might though, because there's something that I really connect with her about, um, ab about her cancer journey. So maybe I'll still do her even though, yeah. Um, Ella Grasso, the first woman elected governor in her own right, according to my notes. Um, Marcia Cabrita, I don't know who she is. Eileen Barton, oh, she's saying, if you, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. So my little pre-notes say. Connie Needham, oh, she was Elizabeth on Eight is Enough, my pre notes saying. And someone named Linda Gibson. So was that seven? One. Which one count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was eight again. It's because they stick together. So that was information you needed. You know it was. Very important. Very important information for you. So those are the folks that I'm going to be working on this upcoming this upcoming week after I finish the other folks. So that this will be my next my next batch. Thank you for stopping by.